Hello, everyone. It is a hot one out of the vat. Um, whew, I'm at. Uh, there's a heat wave for the week. Uh, so if you're out and about and you're one of the areas that have the heat wave warning for the week, stay hydrated. Um, don't overdo yourself. And s stay far away. Away from the sun. Also, if you have dogs and kids and that, don't leave them in the car, folks. Um, have some common sense there. Um, even with the air conditioner on, it's too hot to have, like, kids and dog pets and that left in the car. Because it's dangerous for them. So, yeah, snooze of common sense if you have it there, folks. It's already on the news and that. There's people talking about, um, seeing dogs and kids left in the cars and humidity and stuff like that. So, it's not, it's not cool. Um, let's talk about Monday Night Raw. What happened for July the 8th, 2024. Now, before I get into the results, a uh, good cousin of mine. Her family went to see Monday Night Raw in person last night. They had an amazing, great time. Um, they told me that before Raw went on the air, there was two bonus matches. Um, Julius Creed and Brutus Creed beat the LWO's Dragon Lee and Joaquin Wilde. And um, Alba Fire and Isla Dom, Ivy Nile match. So that was cool. They had a great time. They had second row, front row seats. That was awesome. Um, let's talk about Monday Night Raw now. Raw started off with CM Punk and Seth Rollins. Amazing segment. Seth Rollins is pissed off, and I don't blame him one bit. Because he told Punk, look, you screw McIntyre again had it repercussions. Because now I can't challenge Damian Priest for the World Championship no more as long as he's champion. Because it's pure stipulation. So he said, now, he said, what's Seth Rollins going to do? CM Punk told him, well, I don't care what you do. And Seth Rollins said, you should care what I'm going to do, because I'm going to kick your ass now, he said, because there's repercussions coming. And CM Punk said, look, I got to deal with McIntyre. That's my main focus. And Seth Rollins said, you should have followed that before get me involved in, you know, feud with McIntyre for screwing me out of the world title match and the money in the bank on Saturday. So, looks like CM Punk has got some trouble now with Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre. I cannot wait. See Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins team up. Whoop CM Punk's ass. Um, Monday Night Raw Rollins opened the match was Chad Gable. Took on main event Jay Uso. Quick match. Um, Chad Gable caught Jay coming through the ropes to the outside. Overhead belly belly suplexed him. Jay just rocked him with a punch combo. Uh, top rope cross body. Suddenly the Wyatt Six music hit. Chad Gable got up. Looking around. Wondering what, who's going to appear. Jay drilled him with a spear. I mean, uh, for the one, two, three, it took off. Um, he's like, yeet, later. Um, Nikki Cross showed up, handed over out of VHS tape to Michael Cole. Um, later on in the show, Chad Gable <clears throat> approached Adam Paris said, look, I need help against the Y6 so after me. Adam Paris said, look, you have to do it on your own. I got too much on my hand, mine. And if my hand's full of McIntyre, punk, all this stuff. So, as he left... Later on in the show, you can see him talking to the Creed Brothers Ivy Nile game. They're going to bring them into the feud with Wyatt Six, so I'll be okay with. Because, man, having a Hill version of the Alpha Academy game with the Creed Brothers Ivy Nile, that'd be amazing to see. Um, Adam Paris went, to, after he was talking to Chad Gable, went to go into his office, and guess who was there? Bo freaking Dallas. And Adam Paris said, okay, looks like we got to have a talk, and he closed the door. So I can't wait to see what that's going to lead to. We had Katana Chance, Katie Carter, Ollie Valkyrie took on Damage Controls. Dakota Kai, Eo Sky, and Kari Shane. Oscar's out of an ankle injury. Now we know what's happened here, why she has been on TV for a while. Get well soon, Oscar. Can't wait for you to be back. Because you and Kari Shane are an amazing tag team. Um, got a quick, fast paced match. Action packed. Um, damage Control ended up knocking the free Winham off the ropes to the floor. Um, then all the Valkyrie, Katana, Chance, King, Carter did stereo suplexes on damage control at the same time. Um, all the Valkyrie fishermen suplexed Dakota Kai down. The Katana, Chance came off the ropes and splashed her. Um, suddenly, Eo Sky ran in, knocked Katana, Chance off the ring apron to the floor. Then tossed Kari Shane to the outside on top of all the Valkyrie and Katana, Chance was left Katana Carter in the ring. Freya won, beat down on damage control. Dakota Kai, Scorpion kick across the back. 
Kyle Shane drop kicked her down. And E.R. Scott hit that amazing top rope moonsault for the one, two, three. After the match, they were attacked. Damage control was beaten up by Shayna Baszler, Zoe Starks, and Sonya Deville. For months now, Sonya Deville's been backstage trying to recruit them to form a stable. Um, they finally realized, hey, let's do it, right? Because we ain't winning. We're not getting opportunities. We're getting screwed over, stuff like that. They beat the shit out of Damage Control. And they focused most on Eo Sky and whooped her ass. Shayna Base tossed her up in the air, kneed her in the face. Zoe Stark delivered a super kick. And then Sonya Deville delivered, like, I don't know what the hell kind of move she did, but that looked impressive. Um, the only thing that bugged me was Natalia told Sonya Deville last month that, hey, I'll join your stable. Where is Natalia? Because if she's going to be in the group, it would make sense for her to be there, right? So, I don't know why they debuted the stable without Natalia in it. That I didn't understand. Um, Braun Sari took on Pete Dunne. Before the match, Sheamus was backstage saying what's next is he wants to win the one championship he's never held, which is the Intercontinental title. Braun Sari walked up and told him, he said, I'll be the next Intercontinental champion before you. He all washed up. He said, look what I'm going to do to your old pal. The Braun Brute to Pete Dunn. Quick match. Pete Dunn step up in Zagiri kick, stomp the fingers of Bronze Reed, snap the arm down a couple times. The Bronze Reed got up at the top rope. Um, Pete Dunn ran up and applied the arm bar submission on the ropes. Bronze Reed shut him off to Sami for the one, two, three for the quick win. After the match, he went for a second to Sami. And uh, Sheamus ran out to prevent it. Sheamus ended up hitting a running knee to the face to Bronze Reed. Pete Dunn um, super kicked him, and then Sheamus clotheslined him to the outside. Um, then he held up the hand of Pete Dunn, and Pete Dunn, you know, like, pulled the hand down. It's like, no, no, no. Because Michael mentioned that the Braun Brutes got separated when Sheamus went singles on SmackDown, left Ridge and Pete Dunn basically to be a tag team. So that was interesting how that was still at it. The Seamus P. Dunn fame of Bronson Reed there. Um, Judge Bidet had a six-man tag against Braun Strowman and Awesome Truth. Um, it was Kalido, J.D. Madugo, and Finn Bauer, your World Tag Team Champions. Um, Dominic wasn't at ringside because he was preparing for his match with Liv Morgan later on in the night to face Rey Mysterio and Selena Vega in a tag match main event. Um, before this match, uh, Damian Priest got a phone call. And he said, hey, how's it going? And he got excited who was on the other end of the phone. And then he walked into the locker room and Liv was there giving Dominic Mysterio a leg, a kind of like a massage. Uh, and uh, Dominic loved it. And um, and then he suddenly stood up because Judge Bidet showed up. And Liv said, look, you're going to be my partner tonight. Dominic at first didn't want to be her partner. But then after that little leg massage, he changed his mind. Um, yeah, so, Awesome Truth, delivered stereo hip tosses to the World Tag Champions. Braun Strowman did his signature run around the ring, shoulder tackle to Judgment Day. Then he did it with Hard Truth. That was pretty funny. J.D. the Badugo moved out of the way now. So Braun Strowman turned around, chased him through the audience up to the stage. As that was going on, Our Truth got in the ring, delivered all his signature moves... Of John Cena on Kalido and did not notice Finn Balor had made the tag. And as he was celebrating, Miz was telling him, hey, turn around, turn around. Our truth turned around, Finn Balor blasted him with the running drop kick to the corner, which also knocked Miz off the ring apron. Then coup de gras, and your winner is Judgment Day. And Miz was not happy. There's a hill turn coming. And this would make sense for this hill turn because Miz is two weeks now told our truth. First off, you cost us the championships by agreeing to this opportunity with Judgment Day, Val Kassant me. Now he's going to say, which makes perfect sense, like you weren't focusing on the match. You are focusing on dancing around, paw, rapping, and all that stuff, right? Uh, Hill Miz has come back. Miz as a face never works. Miz as a Hill was always awesome for him. Um, let's check and make sure I didn't forget any other matches to get to the yeah, I forgot about a match. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Braun Breaker 
took on Dragon Off. This match came about when Breaker came out, congratulated Sami Zayn for beating him, and then beat the shit out of Sami to Dragon Off made the save. And then Dragon Off won that piece of Braun Breaker. Bow rang. Dragon Off ran. Braun caught him. Overhead German suplex. Dragon Off got right up and German suplex Braun Breaker. Dragon Off hit that running um, drop kick he does, sent Braun to the outside. Go off the ropes. Braun Breaker caught him. Overhead, bow to bow, suplexed him on the outside. In the ring, Braun Breaker flipped him over with that massive running clothesline he does. Um, Dragged off, fought back. Went for that running grounded forearm shot. He does out of the corner. And Braun Breaker caught him with a jump up knee to the face. Got buster combo. Dragged off, hit a spin kick to the back of the head. Step up into the gear kick, stunning Braun. Came off the ropes with a discet Larry clothesline, level one Braun Breaker. Then he went for coast to coast. Braun moved out of the way. Dragon off crashed to burn. Then Braun clotheslined him to the outside of the ring, and they went to do that running spear outside the ring. Dragon off jumped up with a knee, just grazed Braun Breaker. He didn't connect with all of it. Then um he backed up and went to do that running uppercut he does outside. He ran, and Braun Breaker threw one of the office chairs of the announcer's news right into his face. So, Dragon Off won by disqualification. Braun then just ground, pound, attack, Dragon Off, speared him, threw him over the announce table. Sami Zayn ran out, took some beating on Braun Breaker, then he checked on Dragon Off, and that was a mistake. And he, he turned around, and Braun leveled over him set of a spear, and then tossed him over the announce table. Then jumped on the announce table and howled like a dog. Your main event was Rey Mysterio and Selena Vega against Judge Bidet's Dominic Mysterio and Liv Morgan, your World of Women's Champion. Uh, at least this match, like last week, every time Rey did a move, Dominic would do the same move. This week, at least they changed the move setup. Like, Rey did her two her Coronas, one sent Dominic outside. Dominic did two of the Free Amigos, did a run and drop kick. Rey answered back with a sunset flip into a pinfall. Um, Selena Vega delivered a punch combo in the corner on Liv Morgan. Um, then delivered an X-Factor out of the corner. Liv delivered forearm shots. A running sidekick knocked down Selena Vega. Counter Cole Red. Went for Oblivion. Vega countered that. Most of the women did all the work. The man hardly did anything. Ray delivered a 619 to Dominic. Then Selena Vega delivered a 619 to the legs of Dominic. And that allowed Ray Mysterio hit a frog splash off the top rope for the 1 2 3. Apparently, this is the first time Rey Mysterio has defeated his son since his son turned heel. I did not know that. After the match, um, Liv's checking with Dominic. Mommy's back. Rhea Ripley came back. She came out. Liv looked like she shit her pants. Dominic looked like he shit his pants from the expressions. Liv doesn't. She gone. She took off. Dominic wasn't so lucky. He stays like, hey, mommy, how's it going? Mommy uh, kind of shoved him away. Mommy ain't happy. Dom Dom. That's how Raw ended with Rhea Ripley storming to the back and Dominic trying to apologize for flirting with Liv Morgan. I cannot wait to see what's going to happen next with those people. Um, the only match announced for next week for Raw is Sheamus versus Bronze Reed, which will be one hell of a slobber knocker. Um, Drew McIntyre's girl return from a one week suspension. Um, deliver a segment, and CM Punk is told not to be there, but you know CM Punk, he doesn't obey the orders. And also, we're going to have a face-to-face -face segment between Damian Priest and Gonford to set up that storyline for the World Championship match at SummerSlam. There you have it, folks. NXT tonight, I hope, is good. We're all, besides Braun and Dragunov and the 6 one tag, the rest of the matches were like, they were okay, but not for where exciting stood out, right? I am happy that Sonya, Shayna, and Zoe Starks have joined the stable, but where the hell is Natalia? Stay safe, everybody. Too sweet. Bye.